back to Morning Express. The skin is the largest organ of the human body. It is also one of the most sensitive organs and most exposed to environmental elements that can cause diseases and infections. Many people struggle to keep the skin healthy and today in studio, I have a skin therapy expert, Paris Mbudia. Thank you very much for joining us here, here on Morning Express, who is from Timeless Med Co Spa. Now let's start with the basics. Mm -hmm. What is skin aesthetic? Uh, medical skin aesthetics is uh, whereby we treat your skin, we maintain your skin using non-invasive mm -hmm. treatments, non-surgical, sometimes even surgical. It depends with who you go to see. Yeah. I'm a medical aesthetician, obviously, a timeless medical spa, and we use non-invasive treatment, meaning we don't do surgery apart from when we do things like skin tag where we yeah. use insertions and mm. stuff like that. So what are the most common techniques that are used in skin aesthetics? Today we came with the laser because that is a new thing that is being used in everything from skin treatment like acne, from hair removal, skin rejuvenation, body contouring, lasers are becoming the in thing. Before we get to it uh, yeah. maybe if you can explain what exactly this is what does it do uh -huh. so that our viewers at home can you know get conversant with it true what is laser first of all let's explain that yeah. because a lot of people when they hear laser they're like oh my god radiation and they're scared so it is actually light emitted uh, and then that right it's actually turned into energy and that energy in your skin, it targets something we call chromophore. Mm -hmm. Now, what is chromophore, you ask? Somebody at home might ask, what is chromophore? Yeah. That could be water in the skin. It could be protein on the skin. It could be melanin on the skin. It could be acne, PP bacteria in the skin. So it will target that. And depending with what we are treating, mm -hmm. that is the subject we are aiming at. And so it's destroyed from the root. If it's hair, it will be targeting the melanin. Why? Because we want to treat the hair shaft. Okay. So the melanin will attract the light, then destroy the hair from the root. Aha. Now, if we are doing skin rejuvenation, it's different. Now, we are targeting the chromophore protein, which is collagen on the skin. So the laser light therapy will go inside and now stimulate the fibroblast to increase the collagen level on okay. the skin. Mm -hmm. So that is basically how the laser works. Yeah. yeah. So now explain the whole machine. I can see so many tools here. <laughs> I can, these are your tools of trend. Yes, uh, yes, So yes. maybe you can start. One, um, uh -huh. this is a spray. It's called Lacure Beauty. Uh -huh. um, what does it do? Uh, why I have all these things here? Yeah. Because to do laser, first of all, we need to protect our eyes, and so is the eyes of the client. Yeah. So we are going to be going to the beach in a minute because we are going to have to wear glasses, including you. Okay. Uh, number two, after you do laser treatment, it is advisable to use sunscreen. Because why? Again, remember, it's heat. Mm -hmm. So you need to protect your skin. So that's why we came with sunscreen, because we have to apply that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So lasers are very good treatments if, honestly, you're suffering from hyperpigmentation, uh, you have ingrown hair, like our subject today, mm -hmm. our model, thank you, he has <laughs> ingrown hair. So uh, because a lot of men are struggling and suffering with ingrown hair, and what do they do? They go to their barber, and they have the hair removed with tweezers. Yes. And of course, it become a weekly, or, you know, bi-weekly, or monthly. They must go and have that, and it's painful. Yeah. Lasers are not painful. They are quick, and they're done regularly. Uh, maybe if you do 6 to 12 treatment, that issue, it's gone and gone and gone. You've talked about uh, hair removal. You yeah. know, we ladies like to tweeze our hair mm -hmm. and eyebrows and all that. It's also painful for us. Can it be done on eyebrows or any other place? We it can be be done everywhere in the body where you want it but eyebrows for women because you want it shaped that is very we cannot really shape it with laser okay. however for armpit for private area back anywhere you have hair that is unwanted that you don't want we can treat it all right uh -huh. yeah. okay let's continue with you explaining to us okay so today i'm going to use two heads for him okay. why the head i have here as you can see we change very important let me start by saying this why do i have this laser machine here because this is the light laser treatment for him for dark skin for you need to know your skin type right now by looking at him he's skin type six i am skin type five you are skin type six uh she's skin so you need to know your skin type okay. so because so before we continue what determines the skin type 
We normally do have, uh, there is something we call yeah. <laughs> skin analysis. When you come to our clinic, we would then do a skin analysis to know your skin type. Okay. But apart from that, there is what is known as Caucasian, uh, Asian, mm -hmm. all that, their skin typing. For okay. example, people from Europe, their skin type one and two. Yes, uh, then you'll find this Asian who can be skin type four and five. Then you'll find this uh, American and there is uh, people from North America and all that. They can be skin type two, one, two, three. Okay. Now, the darker the skin, the better the laser. Oh, However, okay. having said that, not every laser can be used on dark skin. So you have to be very careful when you go to clinic to ask please ask questions. What laser are you using? Is it for my skin type? Because I'll tell you this, if you ever see somebody trying to use IPL on you, learn. It is not meant for a skin type. Okay. So it's very important. So the laser I have today, it is 1064 nanometer. I know that would be like, what is, what that? is that? Yeah, what is but that? But that is meant for dark skin. Okay. And um, basically, and anybody can use it. It's just the settings has to be done right. So it doesn't mean we can only treat dark skin. We can also treat all the skin type one, two, three, four, five, six, but the settings are different. But not all machine can do that. So it's very important to be sure that you're using the right machine. Yeah. yeah. And before we get to the, you know, you showing us how it's done, yeah. so many people would ask how much does it cost? You won't believe it. Our treatment, depending with where you're treating, start all the way from 3,000 Kenya shilling to about, you know, 20. It depends. If you're doing the whole body, it will cost you more. But if you're doing like just what we are treating him now, the whole face is 6,000. Okay. If you're just treating this area, it's 3,000. So we've made it very, very affordable. Mm -hmm. However, the most important thing to remember is that laser has to be done every four to six week for about six to 12 treatment, depending with your hair type, uh, skin color, remember we said that, yeah. it all come to spray, why? Your hair and my hair is different. So now, if his hair is coarse hair, yeah. it might take longer or it could take, you know, and somebody else have fine hair. It, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's very important for people to understand that. You could come, both of you, me and you can go start laser treatment, but maybe within three treatment, I'm already sorted, okay. but you might need six treatment or more. Get what I mean? Yeah. So those things are very important for people to understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we can start with the uh, demo. All right. Hello, my dear. How are you? You ready? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna have and wipe your face so that we can prepare your skin for the laser. Is that okay? All right. So Anne is just gonna clean your face, and I'm also gonna wear my gloves here just to protect your skin. So one needs to clean the face before you Obviously, start. Obviously, if you come to our clinic, the yeah. first thing we do is now because we're in the studio, we yeah. will definitely clean your face very well. And another important thing I forgot to say, it's very important to shave the day before you come to do laser. Whether it's in your private area, whether it's in your armpit, whether it's on the face, you need to shave the day before. Another important thing, do not wax. All you right. cannot wax at least two weeks before you do laser treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, At least two weeks. Two weeks for waxing, because why? The wax will remove the hair shaft. Yeah. So if you come, what are we treating? Because we want to, you know, remember we are targeting the hair, the hair shaft to yes. kill it completely from the root. Mm -hmm. uh, as she cleaned that, I will explain a little bit how the laser work. Uh, the hair has got three stages. Mm -hmm. There's something we call anagen, telogen, anyway, those, let me use yes. this. Growth, lasting, death. Okay. So when the hair is on the growth mode, it'll, it's going to be treated better. So whenever we do hair removal, we only treat between 8 to 15% of hair that is on growth mode. Okay. If it's on dead mode or lasting mode, it's not going to be treated. And that is why hair removal is done monthly. Okay. Yeah. So we're covering his eyes to protect him. Okay. And also because you're going to be here, we're going to have you wear what the about glasses. Anne? And it's okay. She yes. can just step aside. Okay. But if you're going to be looking at what I'm Thank doing, you. you need to. All right. So. so remember we're doing, I have two different heads here because as you can see, our client, we're removing hair, but at the same time, we're gonna need to treat the ingrown hair. So I'm first gonna remove the hair and then treat the ingrown hair, yeah? So I'm putting the first head in. So 
So, and it's like a car. We have to start it. It has even a key. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to set it according to his skin type, skin color, and the hair. The skin type is six. He is skin type six, and his hair is coarse hair. Okay. He has thick hair, mm -hmm. so I have to set up. And being his first time, I also cannot do high intensity. Mm -hmm. So I'm really going to do a little bit low intensity here for him. Um, so now I've set the machine, and it has a pedal, just like a, like a car. I'm going to have to control what I'm doing here. Okay. When I do this, you, you will see that. Can you see? Yes. You can see that. So now I'm going to start the treatment. Are you OK, darling? Yes. So I'm going to start the treatment. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to do this side. Then we're going to come this side. Then I'm going to come here. Is that OK? Yes. All right. So I'm starting the treatment now. And it's feeling something like this. At any time you feel it's too much and you can't handle it, you can tell me. I can stop. And we can lower the intensity. Is it painful? <laughs> it's, it's uncomfortable, but not painful. Bite your lips for me. Bite your lips. Perfect. I don't know whether you can see the smoke. Yes. And you can smell the hair burning yes. too. Yes. So if we're in the clinic, normally we would wear a mask just because um, that fume, if you're doing it back to back, it affects you. And also, if you, if you look close to the hair, you will see a sieging. It's becoming white. That means they're taking the razor treatment. So the spark is the one that is doing everything because we can see a spark coming out. Yes. So the hair, if you see, the hair is turning white, that means, and that's why you need to shave the day before so that um, the laser can actually go to the root as opposed to just burning the hair first. Bite your lips again. Bite your lips, please. Thank you, love. OK, see the machine time itself, mm -hmm. right? It just told me the first pass is over. So we then look at his skin and look whether it doesn't need another pass, right? Yes. And because he's coarse hair, he would need another pass, being his first. But now, because I'm treating the ingrown, so I'm going to change the so, hair. So I have a question. Yes. Um, considering you're wearing shades right now, yeah. uh, seeing it, it, seeing clearly is kind of a challenge. Even for me, I'm struggling to see. My, or maybe it's because I'm blind. My glasses are not good. Oh, they're not as dark as mine. Okay. His is to protect him from okay. the light. But mine, as you can see, they're different oh, than okay. what you're wearing. So right. they're clear. Oh, that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can continue. <laughs> no, his has to be dark because we are really protecting okay. his eyes, right? And if we are treating allowed the eye, then he would have, we normally have smaller ones. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't cover everywhere. So now I've put a different head, mm -hmm. and that's now we're going to treat the, you can see he has bumps, yeah? The ingrown hair normally, when, what is ingrown hair, by the way? Let's see, what is that? When the hair curl itself, and then it's come out, and it's trying to, again, it goes back inside like this, mm -hmm. and it's trying to come out again. Then you get ingrown hair. Yeah. There's a bump, it's stuck inside, there's pus, and a lot of people will get itchy skin, and then they itch it, and then they get infection, and acne happens. Mm. So that's what I'm about to treat. Okay. And a lot of men, and suffer from this and women. So what is the time? Is it one minute, two minutes? For the treatment? Yeah. You cannot, well, depending with what we are treating, again, you see, we cannot, so it can be two minutes, it can be three, it can even be ten. All right. Depend, remember, somebody's skin is different. Some, yeah. yeah. Okay. It, so this one, again, this is going to feel it. This is a little bit heat, even though I'm Brace doing, yourself. I'm going to do it with a very low intensity still, but you will feel this is a different um, laser, so.
See, you felt that, right? Can you handle that though? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. It up the pimple. I don't know whether the camera can see that, but as soon as I go like that, it up it right out. Yeah. So for people with acne, this is a very good treatment. For people with ingrown hair, this is how you treat it, and they are gone. So his skin will be a little bit dry tomorrow morning in the next couple of days, and then it's back to normal in a couple of days. There's no downtime. Beauty is pain, so they say. Um, yeah, but you know what? Why should you suffer if, you know, you can just come for half an hour and get this sorted out? And you know a lot of women also, due to hormonal imbalancing, they are also having sheen hair, right? Yeah. So, I mean, all you need to do is come, 15 minutes, we treat it, couple of months down the line, you have no hair. You okay? You can handle this. Mm -hmm. So are there any side effects? Uh, no, the side effect will be if you do not use the light um, machine, number two, if you go, like now, there's some things I'm going to tell him not to do after this. For the next 48 hours, he's not to go sunbathing. He's mm -hmm. not to go steaming. He's not to have anything that will add um, the heat on the skin. Yes. Okay? Yes. We are almost done. You did it. I can see different spots. I can see a red one. Yes. And one that is almost yellow. Yes. That is what the red one is directing me where to okay. put the laser. And then the yellow is when the, the light is going into the skin. The laser is being emitted to the skin. The beauty of this uh, laser, it's meant to target the what we're treating and not destroying the skin allowed it. So Anne now is going to apply some toner and sunscreen to soothe the skin. If we are in the clinic, we would also have iced the skin down. Uh, this is something else I did not explain. There are some people that you will go in some clinic and you find they use gel before they do the laser. Those are the, most of the time they are the old laser machines. Mm. We have new machine that you don't need to cool the skin. It has its own cooling mechanism in the machine. So allow me to ask, how much does this machine cost? Um, <laughs> I don't think I can say that because a different machine costs, they're not cheap. That okay. I can tell you. Yes. Uh, anything from two million and above. But uh, it depends with what laser machine are you buying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. They can go all the way to 20, 30 million. Okay. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. So what are the do's and don'ts? You've told him in the next 48 hours he has yes. to, to follow instructions. So he what has are to they? Follow instruction. He mm. cannot uh, go sunbathing. Meaning, even if he go to Mombasa today, he would have to really cover himself with sunscreen. And he has to keep on reapplying at least every six hours if it's a 60 SPF. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, like I said, avoid anything that is sauna, anything that is going to add heat on your skin. Uh, the skin will be dry for the next couple of days, but not so dry. But the key is to hydrate. So use a hydrating, whatever you use at home, just make sure that it doesn't clog the pores. And you should be okay. However, now, remember, one laser doesn't do it. So you have to at least do, according to your hair, I would say at least six treatment, scheduled at every either four to six week monthly. All right, so uh, I have a question, yeah? Yes. What if someone, like for him, let's mm -hmm. say you've tested on him, yeah. uh, what if he doesn't continue yeah. with the treatment? Does anything happen? No, uh, the f good thing is, all the treatment already we've done, he should see changes in mm. the next couple of days. All right. Because the pimples will dry off and fall off. Mm -hmm. Now, if he say, mm, 
I'm not going to continue. Nothing will happen. It's just now the hair will still continue growing. All right. right? <laughs> All right. Thank you there, Paris Mbubia, uh, from Timeless Medco Spa. Yeah. And Anne Wamboi and, of course, Kirui for being a good you know, guinea pig. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching Morning Express. Since 5 a.m., you've been with us all through. We thank you very much. But now we conclude. Uh, and Michelle Ngele comes up next to the News Center. I'm Ashley Mazuri. Thank you.